Hello everyone, my name is Amir Khan and I'm a part of the Student Leadership Johns Creek Class of 2020. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you all to the first and hopefully last virtual graduation of Student Leadership Johns Creek. Despite events beyond our control that have put life along with cherished moments like our beloved graduation on hold, it is compulsory that we both acknowledge, celebrate, and bid farewell to the SLJC Class of 2020 and give a proper welcome to our newest group of future leaders, the SLJC Class of 2022. However, before my class and I introduce you to the newest members of SLJC, let us tell you about some of our favorite parts of SLJC, starting with me. Since joining Student Leadership Johns Creek and also being given the opportunity to serve as a Secretary of State Ambassador, I have learned and experienced so many new things. Not only have I learned a lot of important leadership skills, but I've also discovered a lot of things about myself and my community that I never knew about previously. In fact, my favorite part about SLJC occurred last year when my fellow Secretary of State Ambassadors and I were given the opportunity to host an actual real-time debate between candidates for the Georgia House District 50 at Northview High School. It was an extremely eye-opening experience that really showed me the power of local government and the impact it can have on the Johns Creek community. Welcome to the first and hopefully last virtual graduation of Student Leadership Johns Creek. My name is Irene Sanders. I'm the Executive Director of the program. I wanted to first off thank the students and leaders who were nice enough to record videos to include in this program. Thank you also to the Leadership Johns Creek Board who have supported uh, student leadership for over eight years. To the class of 2021, you all worked so hard on your community service projects um, throughout the entire year. And we were all looking forward to hearing about your amazing progress. I know many of you came away from these group projects inspired, but most of you realized exactly what everyone in Games, Game of Thrones learned, that the people who work the hardest don't necessarily become king. Next year, you'll be working on your online portfolios and you'll shadow a person in a career that you're interested in pursuing. That's always one of the best parts of our program. Because you missed City Day, Mayor Mike Bodker has guaranteed we will have two City Days next year, one for the class of 2021 and one for the class of 2022. I'm looking forward to working with each one of you next year. To the class of 2022, welcome. It was a difficult process going through nearly 200 applications to name this class. You have a lot of great program days in store for you that will begin in August with a fun time at Odyssey Escape Games. I'm looking forward uh, to meeting each and every one of you in the coming months. To the class of 2020, I did not think your time in our program would end this way. Although many of you are missing your senior proms, your graduations, and all that is your senior year. You also have stories you can share with your future children and future friends about how you lived through a pandemic, you learned virtually, you were disappointed, but you persevered. Every year I'm positive the current graduating class is my very favorite, but the class of 2020 is now my favorite. I'll miss um, not being able to give you your certificates and cords, but I am putting those in the mail to each one of you, so look forward to receiving those soon. You all have such amazing futures in store. Each one of you make me so happy. The class of 2022 won't understand this, but the rest of you know um, that some things never change. We will survive this. We have been down before but we will always find a way to fight back and be stronger for it. Go Saints. Congratulations, class of 2020 Student Leadership Johns Creek. I'm Linda McCain, your school board member for District 5, and I couldn't be more proud to be here today to tell you, well done. I know that this is not the way any of us wanted to say farewell after your two years in the program. But unfortunately, with social distancing, we don't have any other options. So with modern technology, I am making a video for you to say congratulations and well done. Now, this is not the end, guys. I am really, really confident that with all the skills you've learned the last two years and all the really unique opportunities you've been exposed to, that you have got an edge up in the world when you head off to college or your senior year of high school or a job. No matter what you're gonna do, this program has given you so many opportunities that you would not have had otherwise. 
And when I look back at what you've done with the student ambassadors program, what you've done with your personal branding projects and your other community projects, you have learned about our government from local all the way through state and you understand who all the different players are. You can have immediate impacts in our community if you think about all the contacts that you have made and the interactions that you've had the last few years. So I wanna encourage you to um, keep being positive and looking forward. I am so, so very proud of everything that this group has accomplished and I can't wait to see what you guys um, what you come up with in the future and what you accomplish. I know it's going to be phenomenal. So I'm proud to know that to say that I knew you when <laughs> and um, look forward to really bright future for all of you. So congratulations. My name is Kaylin D'Souza, and I'm a junior at Chattahoochee High School and a member of the Student Leadership Johns Creek Class of 2020. It has been such an honor to be a part of this amazing organization that has helped to empower me as a student leader in my community. What's really incredible about this unique program is that it connects us with amazing leaders in our community such as superior court judges and representatives in our state government that have shown me what true leadership is really about. The opportunities provided to me by Student Leadership Johns Creek has allowed me to further explore my passions and really contribute to my community in an impactful way. Throughout this program, I have accomplished as well as witnessed so many different projects that have helped our city, from student-led city council debates to park cleanups. One of my personal favorites was having the opportunity to organize a Superior Court Judge Forum with 15 different Superior Court judges all in Fulton County and serve as a moderator for this event, which really opened my eyes to the great work and service done by our judicial branch. At each of our program dates, the people whom I have met and listened to have taught me invaluable lessons that I will be sure to take with me and that have definitely prepared me for the future. On our most recent shadowing project, I was given the privilege of being able to shadow Judge Rochelle Carnizale, who welcomed me with open arms into her daily life as a Superior Court judge. Experiences like this have provided immeasurable memories and knowledge, and I have full confidence that SLJC has given me all of the skills necessary to thrive as a leader in my community in the future. None of this would have been possible without the dedication and selflessness of Ms. Sanders, who has guided me through these amazing two years. Having a mentor with her, with her devotion and encouragement has motivated me to really put myself out of my comfort zone as a leader and lead with integrity and passion. Overall, I will greatly miss all of my student leaders whom I've grown so much with in these past two years and who I know will go on to do amazing things in this world. I deeply appreciate this profound experience and I'm honored to have been able to contribute so much to our great city of Johns Creek. Hi, my name is Nikki Lippel, and I'm graduating from SLJC virtually. Wow, that sounds really weird to say out loud. Hopefully this doesn't happen ever again, and I hope my graduation from Johns Creek High School is not virtual as well. When I think about it, student leadership Johns Creek has been a great experience for me. As a student who has struggled academically, I often found myself venturing outside the classroom. As a freshman and sophomore, I partook in many clubs and activities and would spend most of my time in these organizations. As junior year came along, I was offered the chance to lead many of the organizations that I took part in. I even started my own business at this time. Without any prior leadership experience, I really did not know what I was doing. Thankfully, SLJC began to mentor me and everyone else as juniors with many different activities to improve our leadership skills. Each program day has taught me a new skill and has bettered my ability to lead my organizations and helped me take them to new heights. I'm thankful for the ability to 
be part of such a wonderful organization. And as a senior, SLJC has helped me create my own personal brand with all my prior leadership experience by showing me how to make a LinkedIn resume, business card, and personal website. SLJC has better equipped me and everyone else who's partook in this program for the real world and taught us stuff that school will never teach us. I'm so stoked to hear that my brother was accepted into the program this year as well, and I'm looking forward to seeing him develop and share what he learns with me. Thank you for this opportunity. Hello, my name is Sherry Sang and I am from Northview High School and a member of this year's Student Leadership Johns Creek graduating class. In the two years that I've been a part of Student Leadership Johns Creek, this program has impacted my life in more ways than I can count, and I know the lessons I've learned in leadership and service from SLJC will stay with me for years to come. Every single program date has taught me something new that I can use to create a more successful future, whether this is learning how to network using LinkedIn or discovering what career fields fit me best. But by far, my favorite part of Student Leadership Johns Creek has been the Secretary of State Ambassadors Program. As an SLJC Ambassador, I was able to contribute to Johns Creek in a meaningful way by promoting civic engagement in the community. I, along with the other Ambassadors, organized numerous public events where members of the community could engage with and learn more about their local and state representatives. In doing so, I learned essential leadership skills like how to run large events, manage a team, and speak confidently. I am honored to be a part of Student Leadership Johns Creek's Class of 2020, and I'm endlessly grateful for the opportunities this program has given me. I would like to thank Ms. Sanders and all the other adults who have worked so tirelessly to make SLJC such a great and enriching program. To the incoming Student Leadership Johns Creek class, I urge you to take advantage of all the amazing, one-of-a-kind opportunities that SLJC will bring you. And to my fellow class of 2020 graduates, we all have such bright futures ahead of us, and I feel extremely lucky to have been around such gifted leaders in Student Leadership Johns Creek. Thank you. First and foremost, I'd like to thank everyone watching this video, and my hope is that everyone is keeping safe and socially distancing appropriately. These are trying times, and times like these actually highlight the value of student leadership, Johns Creek. Throughout our program, we begin to understand the inner workings and organization of our cities and communities. Whether spending time at the Fulton County Jail, or at the Revenue Office, or downtown at the Georgia's Legislature, our experience has become invaluable. Our experiences at the Fulton County Jail and subsequent court hearing were particularly astounding. SLJC gave us the opportunity to see leadership at play in the situations with the highest stakes. I already know student leadership is providing me with the connections and tools that I will likely use for the rest of my academic and professional career. And with that, I would like to thank Ms. Sanders and everyone who made this experience possible. Thank you. Hey guys, Judge Carnesale here to congratulate you for completing your coursework and successfully finishing Student Leadership Johns Creek. Congratulations on your graduation. When I was first asked to speak at your graduation, I was thinking about so many of you specifically who've been in my courtroom and have worked with me and have just shown me what a talented and, and brilliant group that you are, which brings me to the topic for the day, resilience. That's what I plan to talk about before uh, I knew this would be a video instead of in person. Resilience is the most important quality, in my opinion, to have to succeed as an adult, as a student, and in life. Uh, it's so important to be able to pivot and, as I would say, bounce in life when things happen that we don't expect, when we fail and we didn't anticipate that, when we're rejected. And it's important to remember that is a common human experience that happens to everyone. You remember, you guys, that I tease you and I call you the Johns Creek geniuses? There's a reason for that. You're outstanding students and outstanding people, and you're not that used to failure. So it's important for you um, as you leave school to think about how you'll move forward as adults in life and deal with stresses and challenges. 
Now, right now, in the time of this pandemic, we are all being challenged tremendously. It's important, as you're fearful and being careful and cautious, to take the messages that you can from this time. Because in failure, so often you can find motivation. There's so many of you that I can think of specifically who have probably found inspiration during this time, either to study medicine and work on vaccines, take on public health issues, go into government, or just decisions you're making about your own personal life and how you'll conduct yourselves. So even in a time of catastrophe, and this is certainly a time of catastrophe, you can find inspiration. So I would encourage all of you to do that. By now, I know you're all taking this seriously. So right now, I'm not going to talk to you about how important your role is. You know what it is already. Guys, you need to leave things better than you found them. And I know you're all motivated to do that. You are a group of people who wants to make the world better. But I want to tell you that you can do that right now um, with your actions and your decisions and leave people feeling better. Don't forget the impact that you can have on everyone around you right now. A smile, a greeting, checking in with people means so much. So I'm going to ask you to continue being student leaders, to check on your peers, to check on your neighbors. And I don't mean in person, I mean digitally right now to be safe. But don't underestimate your ability to help people get through this time because you are amazing. You are so bright and so talented. Some of you out there, and you know who I'm talking to, could be singing concerts for people and putting that online. I would love to hear that. I would love to play that for my children. Some of you could be writing humorous and informative pieces. And I would love to see that. I would love to show my children that. So think about how right now you can make the world a little bit better because you are amazing, you are talented, and you're going to be incredible adults. Now, don't forget to check in with me from time to time. You can always consider me a mentor, um, an advisor, and if you're interested in interning in the courts during college or law school, get in touch with me. All right, take care, everybody. Good evening. My name is Kea Parikh, and I go to Northview High School. One of my favorite memories about student leadership Johns Creek from this year was the opportunity to shadow Professor Tubby along with three other SLJC students earlier this year. Ms. Sanders was kind enough to set up this opportunity and it was a great experience in which we were able to sit in one of his classes, see what life at Georgia Tech was all about, and have a candid conversation with a professor who works there. I am happy to introduce and welcome the Northview class of 2022. The members include Aryan Afre, Abhinav Chari, Anjali Dupam, Nikita Ja, Akshay Para, Tara Ramesh, Shrestha Ja, Tanvi Rao, Amulya Rekapali, Aisha Shah, Vidhi Tiwari, Akanshi Arbude, and Sophia Ying. Good evening. My name is David C. and I attend Johns Creek High School. One of my favorite memories about student leadership Johns Creek was winning the state competition for Secretary of State Ambassadors Program. I'm happy to introduce and welcome the Johns Creek class of 2022. The members include Ty Devalbakta, Carson Forky, Charlotte Lichenfield, Carson Kennedy, Ethan Loy, Carlos Luz, Omir Mujawar, Chloe Nicholas, Anya Parekh, Mihir Paul, Ishan Salvi, Ashwin Sharma, Ananya Shetty, and Kavan Upal. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Malika Kanker and I attend Chatterjee High School. My favorite part about student leadership John's Creek were the people I met and the stories I heard. I am happy to introduce and congratulate the Chatterjee class of 2022. The members include Raksha Dama. Nishan Chandran, Gabby Clearview, Vania Dominic, Amrit Garlapati, Malika Kulkarni, Caden Lee, Ansley Lee, Shruti Namala, Anishka Nachani, Sohim Satgar, Fr Friana Singanpuria, Anastasia Stoyanov, and Natalie Wong. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Carter Smith and I attend Centennial High School. Uh, one of my favorite memories of student leadership at Johns Creek was the Portfolio Project because we got to shadow one of our mentors. 
I am happy to introduce and welcome the Centennial Class of 2022. The members include Megan Deering, Carmela Dunn, Harrison Frank, Harper Hughes, Lauren Larson, Dawson Maragne, Mehar Namani, Mary Owen, Alex Swan, Harrison Williams, and Addie Wilson. Hello, Student Leadership Johns Creek. This is Senator John Albers, and I'm calling to give you a virtual congratulations on completing the program. It was great to meet with so many of you at the Capitol and in our community. This program has done tremendously well and has been a great benefit to everyone who's attended, you the students, but also all of us who had the opportunity to interact with you. Now, I hope you know this is just the beginning. We know from this point forward, there are awfully high expectations about how you are going to take leadership positions in our community now and as you continue to grow through your education and into your professional lives. I want to say congratulations and well done. And I am here to serve you. You can reach out anytime to me at SenatorAlbers.com. And at the same time, I want to welcome the incoming 2022 class. You're going to have some terrific experiences, and I know that we'll get time to spend together, uh, and we're going to get through this difficult time. And I do want to leave you with a little bit of encouragement right now. I sure wish I could be there with you in person in order to hand out some nice letters, but we'll make sure to get those in the mail. We are living in some difficult times right now, but our greatest days, they still lie ahead because we're Georgians and we're Americans. And I believe this will become one of our finest hours as we rise up and help our friends, our neighbors, our community, state, and nation through these challenging times. Thank you again, congratulations, and may God bless you. I just wanna briefly tell you guys um, about my experience in regards to exchange and student leadership. So it all started in August of 2018 when student leadership sent out an email to all of the members saying that there was an opportunity to do a one-year exchange program with Rotary Youth Exchange. And for me, I always dreamed of traveling and going abroad, but I never really thought it was something I could actually do. So when I received this opportunity, I literally jumped and I wanted to do it right away. So after a very long process of applying, and trust me, it was a lot of work, but definitely worth it, um, I got in and months later I received news I was going to Italy. Um, and throughout all of this, student leadership was very helpful. Since the beginning, they have helped me work out a plan so that I can still be involved. So for example, right now, although I'm currently with Rotary, I still have associations with Student Leadership Johns Creek. Um, I actively participate in community service projects whenever I have the opportunity to, whether it's in my small community of Garbagnate, 30 minutes outside of Milan, or whether I go into Milan and help work there. Um, student leadership really has given me this amazing opportunity. Um, in particular, I just want to also thank Ms. Sanders because without her, I could not have be where I am today. Um, but yes, I want you guys to know that this is 100% a possibility. If you have ever dreamed or even just thought of going abroad for a year, do it. It will change your life. It sounds cheesy, but it really is life changing. And to be associated with student leadership as well and be able to graduate even though I'm not there at this time is so amazing. And I look forward to coming back and being able to talk more about my experiences with all of you. So thank you once again, student leadership, for bringing me to where I am today. Community service has played a major role in molding me as an individual and enriching my life. From a young age, helping others has been my greatest passion. I'm fortunate to have been born in the well-off, supportive community of Johns Creek. Student leadership Johns Creek gave me the opportunity to give back to my community, which I love so much. One of my favorite activities in this program was assisting the Foster Care Support Foundation through volunteering at the warehouse, as well as hosting several donation drives. 
Thanks to Ms. Sanders and all the wonderful mentors in my SLJC journey, I improved my project management skills and learned how to set SMART goals to ensure that my team could successfully execute our vision of donating hundreds of books and clothing items. SLJC also opened me to the world of civics through the Georgia Secretary of State Ambassadors Program. As a debater, we discuss policies and issues which give us knowledge about how the world functions. However, this program gave me the opportunity to not only discuss such issues, but also actively engage in solving them. For example, we often discuss low voter turnout, which affects the policy agenda. But only through this program was I able to actively improve voter participation by running voter registration drives and candidate outreach meetings. The highlight of this program was the fact that I got to work with esteemed members of the community, including state representatives, local leaders, and judges on various civic engagement projects. For example, we hosted the City Council debate at Northview and a judge forum to educate citizens on the judicial process to improve government transparency. Hosting the City Council debate was one of my most memorable high school experiences because I had the honor of coming up with the questions the candidates would answer and asking them on stage. I'm so thankful to have been a member of Student Leadership Johns Creek. It's taught me skills and given me experiences that will greatly assist me as I make this transition to college and later my career. Good evening. My name is Dhruv Anand and I'm a junior at Chattahoochee High School. Firstly, I'd like to thank Mrs. Sanders and everyone else who runs this program for giving me the opportunity to speak as part of the graduation ceremony. I cannot believe that two years have already flown by. Before I'd started the program, my graduation year of 2020 sounded so far off in the future, but I guess that day is already here. Looking back on it, I've come a long way from the person that I was freshman year, and a huge part of that progress was because of SLJC. Given that this will be my last graduation ceremony with this program, I wanted to tell you all about my first graduation ceremony, the induction for the cohort of 2020. Granted, I was in person sitting in an auditorium, not being quarantined from the coronavirus, but I guess these days nothing is going according to plan. I was a little cold, and to be frank, I was a little nervous about being called on stage. I honestly did not know where the next few years would take me. I mean, sure, that year's graduating class would reminisce about their time, much like I'm doing right now, and on paper we'd read the basic plan for the next two years before we'd even applied. But still, I did not know that in the next two years, I would support Alzheimer's patients through volunteering at a senior living home and through organizing a fundraiser with Chipotle, or that I would participate in countless activities that enabled me to hone in on my career of interests and to start working towards that goal. I would learn more about the inner workings of the beautiful city of Johns Creek, and I would visit the state capitol. I got to shadow at a facility that further affirmed my career choice and built a lasting professional connection. And I definitely had no clue about the importance of building a LinkedIn page and website that would serve as part of my digital profile for my college admissions and for the rest of my career. I learned about all these various life lessons and took part in all these opportunities because I was in SLJC. SLJC gave me a chance to do amazing things that I otherwise would never have known about and has left a huge impact on both my present and my future. I'm incredibly grateful to this program and to all of you about to embark on this quest. I hope you enjoy it as much as I have. Now, without further delay, I'm happy to introduce the other members from the class of 2020 representing Chattahoochee High School. Kaylin D'Souza, Joseph Flagler, Eliza Imhoff, Linda Jawahar, Will Johnson, Siri Kanakala, Malika Kenkere, Natasha Mahanti, Lindsay Morris, Meghna Potokochi, and lastly, Anastasia Veriaskina. Once again, thank you, SLJC. Have a good day, everyone. Hi, my name is Maggie Wall, and I attend Centennial High School. I'm a part of the Student Leadership Johns Creek 2020 graduating class. Student leadership has taught me so many important things throughout the two years that I've been a part of it. I not only was given the opportunity to be involved in the community, but I also learned very important leadership skills along the way. I got the most out of student leadership during our program days. From numerous speakers, learning how to build your own online presence, every program day has taught me skills that I know I will use for the rest of my professional life. I'm missing school once a month with a bonus too. <laughs> my favorite program day was definitely government day, where we got to see the inner workings of our community and government. 
We drove all around Atlanta and toured places like the Capitol building and even got to see the Fulton County Jail. It was a long day, but it was definitely worth it in the end. Another great experience that student leadership Johns Creek gave me was the first year group project. I was leader of our group where we donated different types of board games to the nonprofit organization called Girls Inc. of Greater Atlanta. After we collected these games from our community, we loaded them in my car and drove to Girls Inc. in Marietta. Being able to deliver the games firsthand and seeing the girls' faces light up with excitement was such a great experience. Another great opportunity this program gave me was a second year shadowing project. I got to shadow a creative marketing graphic design agency called Accent Creative Group, where I learned about public relations, marketing, and design. I sat in on their weekly team meeting, and as someone who wants to study public relations, it was really interesting seeing how a small but successful company operates in a truly creative and fun environment. I'm truly grateful for the opportunities that student leadership has given me. While I know this is not the graduation we were anticipating, I still want to say a big congratulations to all my fellow peers who have completed the program and those who have just been accepted. I'm happy to introduce the other members from the class of 2020 representing Centennial High School. Marissa Fish, Alex Green, Jayla Melvin, Amon Puri, Meredith Brown, Carter Smith, Bodana Vera Machineni, Wilson Williams, and Jake Winokur. Good evening. My name is Ann Phillip and I attend Northview High School. I want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for being here tonight. An event like this commemorates not just a two-year leadership program, but even more so the spark lit in each of the student leaders sitting in front of you. Though I have always had a pretty good idea of what I wanted to do, SLJC has enabled me with resources to make that path come to fruition. From my first year of group project at Foster Care Support Foundation to Government Day, I've experienced everything possible from what the world of nonprofit management looks like to meeting public policy makers at the state capitol. Aside from amazing program days with incredible speakers, SLJC has also given me one of my proudest accomplishments. This year, I was selected to be one of Student Leadership Johns Creek's Secretary of State Ambassadors. Through the ambassador competition, teams across the state of Georgia fulfilled their civic duties like never before. Throughout the past year, my team and I have held numerous voter registration drives, moderated multiple city council election debates, served as poll workers and as pages at the Capitol, administered town hall meet and greets, held superior court judges forum, and much more. The people we have met and the lessons we have learned have been invaluable. In the second semester of my senior year, in light of the career plan I choose to take as a female politi politician, I had the honor of shadowing both Fulton County Commissioner, District 1, as well as Georgia's House of Representatives for District 95. Spending time alongside both of these hardworking women has further motivated me to pursue my passion and create public policy that truly serves everyone in our world today. SLJC has taught me first and foremost that the power of networking is stronger than anything else. Making connections with everyone you possibly can is a skill that will benefit you throughout your lifetime and it all starts here. I would not be where I am today without this program and our wonderful director, Ms. Irene Sanders, who has gone above and beyond to equip not only myself, but everyone here with opportunities that we would never even imagine. For those of you just starting your SLJC journey, I encourage you to know that this program is what you make of it. The opportunities are all in front of you. You just have to take them as a leader. Now, I am happy to introduce the other members of the class of 2020 representing Northview High School. Sally Alameu, Kiran Balakrishnan, Colt Drew, Pallavi Araneris, Sarah Hur, Mahak Jain, Nikita Joshi, Suman Kadiala, Ishan Karanwal, Julia Oyang, Kea Parikh, Yasmin Shalom and Sherry Zhang. Congratulations.
Good evening, my name is Keon Kermani and I attend Johns Creek High School. These past two years of student leadership Johns Creek have gone by in a flash. You know, it still feels like yesterday when we all walked into Emory Johns Creek and spent approximately 10 minutes trying to find where the meeting room was. But even though the experience has come and gone, I'll still remember the valuable lessons I've learned. And I'm going to be honest, without SLJC, I don't really know how I would have ended up where I am. From allowing me to meet a vast network of caring adults and hardworking students, I've had real guidance on what it means to be a leader. And on top of that, the most valuable thing I've learned from student leadership Johns Creek wasn't just a tip to keep in mind or even new information. It was the ability to put me on a path of figuring out who I am as a leader. And that's one of the things I loved about SLJC. It was never just a general lecture with information that anyone could use to be a leader. It instead was always about you personally and finding your own mission statement and your own leadership style. And I've always had trouble characterizing myself in this regard. I never really knew my strengths, my weaknesses, or even why I truly wanted to be a leader. But this is what I got out of SLJC. The ability to look within myself and be able to see what type of leader I am and what type of leader I can strive to be. And on top of that, SLJC has fostered a love for many things that I didn't even expect. Before SLJC and the Secretary of State Ambassador Program, I never would have realized how much I love city government affairs and the political system and election systems in general. My time shadowing at Emory Johns Creek Hospital showed me that being a doctor is a lot more social than I would have thought, with communication skills between nurses, doctors, tech, and administration being key. But with all that being said, I still have room for growth. Now, there are still things I don't know about myself and leadership. You know, to be honest, I still forget which side to put my name tag on sometimes. But SLJC has given me the ability to look within myself and put me on a road for even more and more growth and leadership in the future. And with that, I'm happy to introduce the other members from the class of 2020 representing Johns Creek High School. Samantha Breslow, Liam Friedel, David C., Gargi Jamadagni, Amir Khan, Ethan Mingoya, Sajan Parikh, Viraj Ragnikar, Olivia Sanford, and Nikhil Uppel. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Olivia Schaefer and I'm a member of the Student Leadership Johns Creek 2021 class. Thank you to everyone for watching our first and hopefully our last virtual graduation and welcome to new students. Thank you to everyone who made this video possible, most notably Ms. Sanders, who has contributed her time and her energy into making this program an incredible opportunity for students to learn more about civic engagement and to gain leadership skills. We have big plans for our upcoming program year, beginning with our kickoff retreat at Odyssey Escape Games on August 8th. Look for more information about this to come soon. All Class of 2020 students, your certificates of achievement and graduation cords are ready and further information will be sent out as to how and when you will get them. Thank you to our Student Leadership Johns Creek family. Congratulations on another wonderful year. With that said, stay safe, wash your hands, and have a great rest of your day.